Vice Chairman, Mr. Cabeas, Board Member, Mr. O'Brien, Mr. Chin are with us tonight. Did anyone else come? It's just four of us? Yep. All right. Uh, so first of all, let's, Mr. Cabeas, if you could, could you wave the, the, the minutes of uh, November 17th, please? Yes, Mr. Chair, I make a, a, a motion to waive the reading of the minutes from uh, November 17th. Second. On the motion, seeing none, take a roll call. Marty Akins? Yes. Mike Caveas? Yes. Charlie O'Brien? Yes. Russell Chen? Did you get Russell? I didn't hear him, that's all. Is Can't he hear muted? Russell. Is he muted? Oh. Unmute now. Hmm? No, can't hear you. You know. You get there. No. You can't hear? I can hear you. All can right, we can hear you now. Go um, ahead. Yes, on the vote. Thank you. Uh, we have a couple of changes in tonight's meeting. Mm. Case number ZBA 2057 wants to move to January 26. Could I have a motion, please, Mr. Cavaeus? Yes, Mr. Chairman. The matter number is 20 57. Attorney Edmund A. L. Alcock for the Ministry of Appeal on the Building Inspector's refusal to revoke the occupancy permit issued to the American Legion Post 95 of the premises number 500 Washington Street, Unit A. Make a motion to continue the hearing to January 26. Second. On the motion, CNN, roll call vote, please. Marty Akins? Yes. Michael Veyas? Yes. Charlie O'Brien? Yes. Russell Chin? Yes. Uh, further on to tonight's ZBA 20, 2071, Gene Curran. Could I have a motion to move that till January 12th, please? I'll cut. Chairman. Man number 20-71, Gene Curran for a variant special permit floodplain to raise the existing structure and construct a new structure with less than the required front yard setback to maintain existing garage on the premises number 30 Elcott Road. Make a motion to continue the hearing to January 12th. Second. On the motion, seeing none, roll call vote. Freddie Akins? Yes. Mike Covea? Yes. Charlie O'Brien? Yes. Russell Chin? Yes. Just so the people understand out there today, there's only four board members tonight. We usually have five. That means you can, you have to win all four votes tonight. You can't have any descending unless you're looking for a finding. And I don't believe there is one tonight. <clears throat> so uh, I'm going to go case by case if you want to hear them. You can stay in line. Let me know if you want to be heard. Case number 2052, 25 Cliff Street. Kevin Galipsy. Kevin, you want to be heard? I don't mute him. Hold on. Yep. All I'm right. Here. We are here. Kevin, there's only four members on the board tonight. So what I'd like to know is you'd have to have all four votes tonight. We usually have five members. Mm -hmm. It's up to you. You can hear it tonight or you can move it to another date. I'm happy with tonight. Yeah. Tonight's good. Okay. Case number 2057. That's already moved. 2067. 35 Ain Street. Dago Mar Coletti. <clears throat> Mr. Coletti, would you like to have that heard tonight or would you like another date? Get to unmute himself. Get to unmute yourself. In the bottom. Find it, Mr. Coletti? Yeah, I think we'll move it forward. Okay. Very good. Thank you. GBA 2069, 2070, C Street. Steve DeRoche, is that you? He's muted. Steve, Steve uh, unmute yourself. Steve. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll move forward. Okay. And that does it. Let's go back to uh, 
we got four members. If anyone else comes in, we'll the last ones move. <clears throat> Case number ZBA 2052. What about the old business, Mark? Yeah, the old business. Okay. Oh, oh, I don't have that here. Go ahead. Give me a 20-51 Bradford Street, James White. James that's, White? That's, that's that, awesome. was, that was moved from last meeting because I wasn't there. All right. Correct. All right. What was the address? One to three Bradford Street to convert the attic space into additional living space. Oh, yeah. All right. Mr. White? We're here. We would we love have, to. You have four, four, four members. Do you, want to, do you want to go on tonight? Yes, please. We'd love to be heard. Thank you. Thanks. Madam Clerk, what do we have next? And there's one more old business, 494 Southern Ottery, Missouri, LLC, which is Hassan. And I, I'm looking for him now. Hold on one moment. What is he doing there? He is converting an existing second floor space to a residential oh. unit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah oh, he's yeah. letting him in now. One moment. All right. There's a microphone though. Yeah, yeah. Microphone's not hooked up. Hassan, do you have a microphone? <laughs> if you don't, you ain't gonna hear him. <laughs> Can you hear us, Hassan? Uh. I think the last time he had a phone. We're typing to him right now. All right, we can get back to him. Why don't we start case number? We'll go on, let's go to the old business 2051, James White. Mr. White, you have the floor. Tell us what you'd like to do. <clears throat> my wife and I just moved into, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, my wife and I just bought and moved into our new home in Quincy in August. And uh, we, we literally just gave birth to our firstborn uh, halfway through August on the 11th. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it. We have two very big dogs. Uh, we are in a two bedroom right now. Mm -hmm. It's about 1,250 square foot mm -hmm. in our unit. And above us, we have a lot of potential. And part of the reason why we moved here for the better you know, schools and neighborhood and the yard and the, and the park. And the parking, um, we are hoping to continue to grow our family. And my wife works from home 100% of the time. <clears throat> I work from home probably about at least 50% of the time, if not more. Uh, so we also need our office spaces. Uh, we need the bedrooms to continue to grow our family, which we've already talked about. So if we want to stay in Quincy, we really need you want to stay together. You got to get in separate floors once in a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, truth, truth, truth be told, um, we saw this place come on the market mm -hmm. about three months before we put our offer in and, and ended up taking it. And we, we weren't ready at that point. We, we didn't get it. And then I just checked in with a real estate agent um, because I noticed on online it had kind of a weird status. And she mm -hmm. said, I'm about to put it back on Monday. And I, I told her, I promised her that, you know, with the room in the attic, we can make this work for the, for the neighborhood. And um, and we, we ended up getting it. And as long as we can do that, we can be so, here. So what, do you, what are you putting on the side? Are you putting like dramas on? What are you going to do? So there are, yes. Uh, the, the first, the original plan was that we were considering dormers, but after talking more with the architects and the yeah. BC on it, we think that it would actually be more cost effective and we would get a lot more square footage if they put on new rafters and just raise the roof. Um, so, and, and literally just put on an entire new floor upstairs because we're looking to add three bedrooms and uh, two bathrooms upstairs. So you have two bedrooms in now. It's going to be five, be five bedrooms? Five bedrooms. Mm -hmm. um, you know, at least one, if not two of those will likely be a home, a home office. Mm -hmm my wife and myself to work from. Her family yeah. also lives in Chicago and yeah. uh, never- They haven't met the baby yet, visit. so they want to come visit and have a yeah. so, um, Okay. Yeah, we need to stay. All right, thank you. Thank you. Mr. Caveus, any questions? 
We don't have any at this time. Uh, Mr. O'Brien? Uh, likewise, not just yet. Mr. Chin, any questions? No questions yet. Okay, let's listen mm -hmm. to the neighborhood. Is there anyone that would like to speak in favor of this project? Uh, just a reminder to use the virtual hand raise or star nine if you're calling in. John Rodefeld. Here we go. Johnny. Can you hear me now? Yeah, you don't need the Trump hat no more. Nah, it isn't over till it's over. <laughs> okay, it's uh, over. Okay, Donald. Okay. Don't disrespect the president yet. I didn't disrespect him. Hey, He's John. Gonna... John. Yes. I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth to help you, God. I sure do. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bass. John Rotafail, 62 Grenwall Road. Um, I'm all for, for people maximizing their single family dwellings because it's really expensive with taxes in the city of Quincy and stuff. I would just like to know, because when you see something on the sheet, um, I noticed that when you put on the zoning sheet, one, one other thing I want to add to, I think maybe we should start the meetings at 540. They're consistently not starting right at 530. So if you post it at 540, maybe we could do that. But anyway, that's just a little stupid thing there. But basically, um, I would like to know, you know, like how many square feet is the lot? Because they did say they were going to add three bedrooms. So just so we do. Yeah, they're do going that. up straight, John. To the, they're adding to the, they're keeping the same width of the house, same everything. They're no, just no, but I, I just want to get a general idea of, of just, you know, what, what, what the um, what the lot size was and what the additional square Mr. foot. Mr. Kavash, you have that right there, don't you? Yeah, I do, Mr. Chairman. Let me see what I have here. The, um, the square footage is 6,757 square feet. Mm -hmm. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. No, that's fine. That's a, that's a decent sized lot in Quincy. So um, I'm, I'm in support of this project and um, that's it. I'll shut up. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rotofeld. Is there anyone else? Like speaking, Steve? Anyone else? Second call? Third call? Anyone? Raise your hand. Call that part of the hearing closed. Any correspondence? Madam Maybe just letter? Yeah, could you read it into? We have reviewed the submittal for the above reference project and have no comments. Thank you. Is there anyone, I'll call it part of hearing closed. Is there anyone opposed or undecided? Anyone opposed or undecided? Please raise your hand. No, don't see any. Second call, third call. All the the hearing closed. Uh, I see what they want to do. They want to make the most they can out of the house. And it's a nice size lot. So I'll be voting in favor. <clears throat> I'll be voting in favor. Uh, I see that there's a pack and space shot, but because of the location next to the pack, uh, mm -hmm. it seems as though that there'd be plenty of room in there. So I'll yeah. be voting in favor. Thanks. Jim? in favor. Thank you. Could I have a motion, please, Mr. Cabrera? Yes, Mr. Chairman. Matter number 20-51, James White for a variance finding to convert the attic space into additional living space on the premises number 13 Bradford Street. Make a motion to grant the variance and the finding. Thank you. Second. 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 On the motion, could I have a, a vote, Madam Chair? Marty Akins? Yes. Mike Covas? Yes. Charlie O'Brien? Yes. Russell Chin? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you again, guys. Good luck to the others here. Is 494 Southern Artery online yet? Yes. Yes. We're All right. You have the floor. Explain what you want to do there in 494. Hassan? Hassan? You online? I don't see you. He's two windows down below, Mike. Can you hear us? Oh, there you are. Phone number. What, what's the phone number that he's calling from, apparently? What's the phone number you're calling from? Because we can't see. We can't. We don't know. Okay. 
We can see him. We can't hear him. Try yeah, that. Hear you. you don't have a microphone there. He's gone. He shut his dick off. We'll get back to him. Further on tonight, CBA 2052. Hello. Kevin Galipsy. No, Hassan's back. Hassan's back. Go ahead. Put him on. Last chance. <laughs> You'll be at the end. You there? Hassan. Can you hear us? What did we just have him? Uh, move on. I'll move along, Marty. He's having uh, a Let's go back to the first case. Tell him, he's, tell him he's got an hour to fix his thing, I guess. <laughs> Kevin Galipsy, for 25 Cliff Street. Is he here? Yes, sir. Okay. You have the floor. Explain what you'd like to do. All right. Uh, it's really quite simple. We have a, a small pantry on the side of the house. Uh, we are looking to expand that uh, just a little bit in order to give just a little more space in the pantry and add a half bath. Uh, we've got two teenagers in the house. Uh, who, despite all of our best efforts, keep getting bigger. Uh, so we're just trying to give ourselves a little extra breathing room in the house uh, to accommodate for that. Um, there is uh, an existing overhang of the roof where the pantry is now. Uh, mm -hmm. We do not intend to go beyond that overhang. Mm -hmm. um, so we're not really changing the footprint of the house that much at all. We're just adding yeah. a couple of feet out yeah. in the width and a couple of feet on the, the length. It's just like on three, the pantry. Three point eight feet or something, correct? Yeah, something. correct. Yeah. All right. All right. Any questions, Mr. Cabeas? None. I, I have none. Mr. O'Brien? Uh, no questions. Mr. Chin? No questions. Okay. Is there anyone I'd like to speak in favor? Speak in favor? Putting a small addition on the back, on the side there, side in the back. Anyone? I can call Rodefeld. John Rodefeld. John Rodefeld. Rodefeld, you have the floor. Okay, I'm hatless this time. John Rodefeld, 62 Grandwall Road. Um, I just looked up on the map, you know, but before I looked on, on the map, uh, considering that's in like the West Street area where they developed like crazy over there, of course I'm in favor of someone doing whatever they want to their single family house. So um, I'm in favor of this one and that's it. Thank you. Thank you, John. Thank you. Is there anyone else? Second call? Third call? No. Uh, hearing close, any uh, correspondence, Madam Clerk? Letter from the Department of Public Works with no comments. No comments. Thank you. Call up probably hearing close. Is there anyone opposed or undecided? Opposed or undecided? First call? Second call. Anybody? Third call. Call a part of the hearing closed. I have a motion, please, Mr. Cabeas. I'm going to vote Mr. Chairman, matter number 20-52, Kevin Gillespie, for a variance to construct a small addition on the premise number 25 Cliff Street. I make a motion to grant the variance. Second it. Second. On the motion, favor. Vote, Madam Clark. Yes. Marty Akins? Yes. Michael Caveas? Yes. Charlie O'Brien? Sure. <laughs> Russell Chief? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Further on tonight's business. Dan and Margaret Coletti for a variance to construct 35 aims. They're going to, in addition to the porch footprint. Hello, guys. You have the floor. I just, I just spoke with my wife, and I guess we're going to move it forward. Hmm? We're going to move it forward. Like yeah, that. you have the floor. Explain what you want us to do. Yeah. I think they want to continue, uh, is it? No, hold up. You think we should go no, uh, what he wants to do, uh, he wants to build a, uh, an addition off the side uh, for his, his mother, his um, very sick and he has her hair and, yeah. and uh, he, what he wants to do is put a bedroom and a bathroom on the side 
so that this way uh, they cannot get her upstairs for a shower and a ba bathing or anything. <clears throat> and uh, so they could, uh, she'd be on the first floor with them. Uh, she lives up in Maine, and, and, and she, they're bringing her back, uh, New Hampshire, they're bringing her back here to live. Yeah. She's very sick. Could, could, you, could you spin that a little bit, your computer, so we can see who's talking, please? Oh, wow. yes. Yeah, that was there you go. And, and, oh, look who it Ernie. is. Ernie. <laughs> How are you, Marty? Ernie. Ernie, take yeah. an oath, will you? You tell, swear tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do. Thank you. Ernie, so that's it's only like 3.8 feet out, correct? And like 12 feet down? That's correct, yes. Yeah. It's just a small addition on there, and you're going to blow it out that three, four feet so you can finish, make a little bedroom for it. Right, a little bedroom and a bathroom so they can, they can bathe the right yep. there and everything. Right. All right. Thank you. Any questions? I have none. None. No questions. Thank you. Is there anyone like to speak in favor? Anyone want to speak in favor? First call. I have a letter in favor. John Rodefeld. And yep. John Rodefeld. John Motorfeld, go ahead. John, I'd remind you that you're still under oath. Okay. <laughs> um, John Motorfeld, 62 Grand Wall Road. Actually, I made a mistake on that last one because I actually looked up the address to this one, and I noticed mm -hmm. this one was in the West Street area, and that's why I was saying they deserve, so, you know, therefore, the state consistent based on that address, certainly, I think you should let them develop in that area. So, um, I'm It's only favor. going out 3.8 feet, too. Well, like I said, this is basically behind all that crazy stuff that has happened on West Street. So I feel bad for anyone that lives in that neighborhood, and I think they should be able to do whatever they want with their properties. So I'm always going to speak in favor of the single-family homeowner that wants to upgrade their single-family home. So I'm in favor of this one, and that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Is there uh, anyone else want to speak in favor? I have a letter in support. Uh, address? It's from 16 Woodcliff Road, Lee and Sharon Smith. Okay, very good. Put that in the record. Is there anyone else want to speak in favor? Second call? Third call. Correspondence, Madam Clerk? I have none. None. Is there anyone opposed or undecided? Opposed or undecided. First call? Second call? Third call closed. I'll be voting in favor. Anyone else, Mr. Cabeus? I'll be voting in favor. Jen, Mr. O'Brien? Yes, likewise. I'm in favor. We have a motion, please. Mr. Chairman and Man, number 20 67, Daniel and Margaret Coletti, for a variance to construct a small addition by extending the porch footprint on the premises number 35 Ames Street. Make a motion to grant the variance. Second. Roll call, please, Madam Clerk. Harvey Aiken? Yes. Mike Cabeus? Yes. Kelly O'Brien? Yes. <laughs> Russell Chen? Yes. <laughs> oh boy, Charlie. Keep, oh, Charlie. Keep it going. I love it. All right. <laughs> Further into tonight's business. Uh, where are they at? CBA 2069. It's C Street. Right where Louis is, that parking lot. Uh, Mr. Desroche, you have the floor. Uh, good evening, board members. Uh, Steve Desroche, the Ponce Valley Survey, representing O'Connell Management, uh, is proposing uh, this uh, project. Um, the plans were basically all developed uh, by the architect and everything, and then a, mm -hmm. uh, a small caveat in the zoning uh, regulations was uncovered that says that if, if you're in a business B district, which we are, and you want to um, build something, you have to conform to the uh, regulations, a front yard setback of a residence A district if you do a but such a district. <laughs> it, it would require a 20 foot setback on the frontage. And right now we're looking at about a 15.7 foot setback. Mm-hmm. Try to push it back. Uh, it's going to just shorten up the backyard. We we'll probably have to look, uh, seek a variance of that also. Oh, is that I know true? This, uh, this site yeah. has been around a long time before the board, and a lot of back and forth, back and forth. But hopefully, this is the last shot we uh, we have to take. 
Yeah, uh, I know. I know this whole thing was about Louis Cafe and keeping a restaurant in house neck and trying to let people survive, I guess. And uh, anyway, I, I, I believe me, I know all about it. it. It's been years. It's been going on for years. But uh, I like to see Louis open. Of course, everyone down here would love to, and I know it's tough with people. It's making it tough. But uh, anyway. I know it's a it's a 30, 30 by uh, 30, 36, 38 house. It's not that big, single. And then you get the other half going on next. Uh, it's going on the other corner of the lot. But I, you know, I I think they did the best they could down there for 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 the lot and for that space. And I know I'm going to let the uh, counselor speak when you're done, Mr. Roach. Do you have anything else to add? No, that's it, uh, sir. Okay. Uh, Counselor? Is he Dave McCarthy in here? Yes. Yeah, yeah thank, you, uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman and Board. Thanks, Steve. Yeah, it's been going on for a while. I think that the, uh, the two lots and the two proposals are uh, going to be substantially better for the neighborhood. Um, at first, there was talk of for stories and condominiums and all kinds of things that would ruin that corner. Yeah. And um, they've come around with a couple of nice designs. Um, back in March, I believe, before we all went out on COVID here, we had a very well attended meeting at Broad Meadows mm -hmm. um, and went over the houses and and uh, the setup. And I think that the, um, I think it was well received. Um, and now we'll uh, we'll move forward and take care of that. And um, at the same time, we'll hope uh, Louis makes a comeback, which is always kind of connected with this, and um, take care of that with the big parking lot that's uh, down there, and take care of the parking. So mm -hmm. um, I'm in I'm in support of this, uh, and I have been uh, since they they came up with this. It's uh, something that won't be too monstrous. Uh, in house neck down at that corner. So, thank you. Thank you, Council. Thank you for your time working this out. So, we can keep Louise in house neck. That'd be great. Uh, <clears throat> does anyone uh, have any questions? Mr. Cabayas? I don't. Mr. O'Brien? The, the only thing you need is a, is relief for the front. That's on correct. This one? Yeah. That's correct. Okay. No. For that no, one. Further co yeah. no further question. Yeah. And it's and it's, yeah. Uh, Mr. Chin, no questions. Thank you. Is there anyone I'd like to speak in favor? Where's the Louis people? <laughs> I don't see any hands. I know. Do they know about the star nine? Star oh. nine, raise your hand. Any anyone? First call. Second call. Son's trying to get his mic going. Third <laughs> call. Call that part of the hearing closed. Any correspondence, Madam Clerk? Darlene Lagoon. Darlene. Hold on one second, Marty, please. He just muted him. Is there anyone that's speaking on this project? Uh, hi, it's Darlene Lujel Carter. I live in the neck, oh. and I just, I just yeah. want to say that uh, I am in support of this, and okay. I also hope that uh, Louise comes back as well. We miss it very much. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Danielle, for, for hanging in for the meeting to speak. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Anyone else? If you're calling in, it's star nine to raise your hand to speak. <laughs> Second call, third call. Call up out of hearing closed. Uh, no correspondence? No, no, not okay. on this one. Is there uh, anyone that's opposed or undecided would like to speak? Star anyone nine. has anything yeah. to say? Oh, star nine is only if you're calling in on an actual phone. Otherwise, use the virtual hand raise in the participant list. Or turn your screen on and wait. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm here. 
There's nothing, Marty. Okay. Second call, third call. Call up by the hearing closed. I'll be voting in favor. I will be voting in favor also. I'll join the club. I'll join the club. Make it four. I'm in favor. Make it four. Feel the love. Okay. Can we have a motion, please? Yes, Mr. Chairman. In CBA matter 20-69, 1269 C Street, LLC, for a variance to construct a single-family home on the vacant lot in the premises number 1260 C Street, make a motion to grant the variance. Second. On the motion, Madam Clerk, if we could have a voice vote. Sure. Marty Akins? Yes. Michael Cabellas? Yes. Charlie O'Brien? Yes. <laughs> Russell Chin? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Gentlemen, further on to tonight's business, we have 2070, the same lot, the other half of it, Steve DeRoche. Uh, thank you very much again, Mr. Chairman. Um, again, this is a uh, just a basically similar to the last case we just heard, except mm -hmm. this one has two frontage problems. Uh, one on C Street and one on Bayview Road, and both of them are 25 feet. The uh, frontage on C Street is a little over 15 feet, and the frontage on C Street is about 16 feet, 16 and a half feet. Um, the, uh, this lot here is lot two, and it's a two-family house uh, as opposed to the single family on lot one. Mm -hmm. All right, we uh, now you got two decks over there, and you got a driveway. It's sixteen nine or something. Correct. Sixteen five. Is that going under the deck? There's there is parking under for the on both sides. Okay. Now I'm just thinking seventeen feet. That's it's pretty close. For a car, correct? Well, the driveway for the for the garage. They got a garage on the each side. I think mean, right on that. both sides. Yeah. Because we said first it was going to be parking under, so that's the second second. This is the second one. Yeah. Second spot. All right. Second spot, because I know originally that's what we talked about parking under. Okay, I don't have any more questions. <clears throat> I have no questions. Uh, no questions. No questions. And they, they're coming off Bayview Ave, so not like they're impeding. There's only going to be one driveway going in the other one, correct? Yeah. All right. Uh, anyone want to speak in favor? Son, pull it back so they can read it. Anyway. Uh, Council, you want to speak on this? It's my copy. Dave, I'm unmuted. I'm sorry. I, <clears throat> yeah, Marty, the same same um, comments as the last one. Uh, mm -hmm. Both quality houses, and and with the garages underneath, um, you know, maximizing the space down there and not really bothering uh, any on street parking. Uh, so uh, I think it's a good fit. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Is there anyone else want to speak in favor? First call. I'm second not. call. First call. Um, Anybody? <clears throat> you know, I'll present if I have to. I'll present. Anyone else? Third call. Call up the hearing closed. Madam Clerk, do you have any correspondence? Yes, I have DPW comments. Yeah, if you could. I can. One moment, please. Confirm the impervious area will not be increased due to the development. Provide a clean out for the sewer service. Upon completion of this project, as built plans showing all utilities, building footprints, reference bounds, and benchmarks need to be submitted. Thank you. Is there anyone opposed or undecided I'd like to speak? Bill Zanzo. Polls or undecided? Aye. Bill Zanzo. Hello? Someone speaking? Am I up? You're up. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not a Zoom uh, pro. And uh, Chairman Inkins, uh, please note, I didn't get up in time to uh, comment negatively about the related property. 
at, and I can't remember which one we're on now, either 1260 or 1266. 1260. 1270. No, no, no. It's 2070. What are you talking about? Oh, oh 12, 1269. They're both, they're both like the same address right, right now. Right. I understand. It's K7. This is two family. Right. My complaint is on this. The requests on both variances are that at the end of the day, this is a hardship variance request. And my understanding is a, hard, a hardship variance cannot create a hardship. Mm -hmm. Parcels of 1260 and 66 have been required for parking it for Louis forever. Right. And it's my understanding that this condition is still in place. No. In it's reality, not. when was that deleted? That was deleted back uh, two First years year. ago and then again a year later. Because it went back, it went, it went, it, got, it lost, then it came back and it got approved. And then a year later, it went back and then back. So it's been up here like three times. We've been dealing well, with the, the problem we're still looking at, Marty, is the restaurant. Yep. Counselor, the, the, count, the word counselor noted, well, you know, we'll have parking when the Marine Center's done and everything else. The problem is going to be that neighborhood is strapped for parking. And what parking is going to be created at the Marine Center is not general public parking. It's supposed to be for the Marine unit the activities at the launch and the, mm -hmm. additionally the uses of the launch will be well utilized probably prime time for the restaurant three times a year three months a year right <clears throat> well not just that other times i mean and technically right now the parking at the marine landing is supposed to be dedicated for by technically it's not for public parking year round it's not a nine-month proposition open to the public it is open to the public but that's not what the rate, that's not what the policy and the, the rules are as regards being MDC property and all that sort of thing. <clears throat> and the question then becomes when the restaurant comes back online, if it does, we have a problem that do they have sufficient parking? And you're putting the cart behind in front of the horse by approving these two properties to be developed. And then the restaurant comes back and it has no parking and there's no clear parking capacity for it to be able to get permitted to go in there. And we're back to the same problems. We've got in other neighborhoods, such as Wollaston Center and elsewhere, where we've got court cases, denials, and all sorts of problems, because parking is not there. And you're trying to, this is trying to backdoor Louis to be able to operate, even though they've given up their parking. Well, I think what they're doing is they're giving the same rights to them that they gave all the people in Wollaston, that within 300 feet, there's parking. And there's parking within 300 feet there. I believe Dave but McCarthy. You also, Mr. McCarthy, you also have Mr. McCarthy was the one that he he's making sure that all that property got bought, all those parking spaces are going to be there. The marine unit is going to be smaller than what was original, so there's going to be more parking. He's going to try to move that up front so that so there'll be more parking. You won't be messing the parking up by moving the building in the middle and trying to bring that up front. So <clears throat> I think. <clears throat> Nine months out of the year down there, there's always parking in that lot. Always. At night, there's always parking in that lot. Even in the summertime, <clears throat> that isn't full. <clears throat> With what's Murray, in the problem, the, problem, the problem still is that parking is not yet, is also not, not only is it not supposed to be public parking, that parking is non-existent at this point. The Marine unit is still, the, the construction is still ongoing. It's going to continue yeah. for a period of time. The neighborhood yeah. is torn up. There is mm -hmm. no, the, so the parking is not readily available. And again, well, my understanding, when you approve a family. restaurant, there there has to be parking available. There has to be counts. Within and that's the sort of thing. That's what Fensmore is all about. But you also have to count it up. Count it up. Count it up. There's plenty of parking on Fensmore for Louis. People want to walk, they walk. A lot of people walk to Louis that, that, that go to Louis. Lots of people in housing. That That's walk. a different proposition. People also park. That's right. That's why I got Fensmore. It's okay, for it, but it's okay. Yeah, Councilor, go ahead. Yeah, thanks, Mr. Chairman. Um, no, Mr. Zamzow is uh, pretty much totally incorrect. I don't know. Um, he hasn't been paying attention to Louis these past uh, couple of years. Um, 
not only will that lot be striped if Louis comes back immediately, it's going to be striped in the springtime. Now, that's going to be no maritime center there in the springtime. We're going to restripe that lot and start to re- re- reconfigure that lot over there so that we can use it for both regular cars and trailers. If anybody knows anything about the lot down there, and I know you do, Mr. Chairman, and probably a few others that are on the phone live in the neighborhood, it's never been utilized correctly. It's been painted for trailers and probably 30 to 40 percent of the lot has never been used correctly. When we looked at it um, and I had uh, engineers look at it along with myself, um, we end up between 50 and 60 spots at the end of the day. We also have down at Fensmere 25 spots down there if folks need to park down there. Um, you know, down in the public spots that are down near Brill Field. So um, there's more than adequate parking. The reason that the lot doesn't work, it's not configured correctly. And when it's all said and done, um, that Maritime Center is going to sit up on the high point out of the flood zone. And those houses are going to be gone. And we're going to pick up more than adequate parking for Louis, for the Yacht Club, And for anybody else who wants to park in that lot, it's not going to be a lot where it's, you know, uh, maritime parking only, you'll be towed. It's going to be a parking lot. And the businesses that are down there are the Yacht Club, the Maritime Center, and Louis. Now, you might have a couple other small businesses that might want to use it. So be it. But we're going to start enforcing rules in that lot. Um, Lieutenant Gillen and I have talked um, a lot about the trailers that get left there, uh, the boats that get abandoned, yep. uh, cars that get abandoned, and uh, it's going to be a different story down there. It's just not going to be a dumping ground. So um, to say there's no parking that we're going to have this problem, uh, we're not. We're actually going to do our homework and stripe that correctly. And for seven months down there a year, uh, it's just Louis all by itself. Louis had 24 spots and at times probably had an average of probably maybe 10 to 12 cars, 15 cars in that lot. So um, if they need to utilize this municipal lot that is going to be eventually 100% under the city's control, and we've always been working that way, um, we're not going to have any problem at all down there. It's actually going to come out very great for the Yacht Club, uh, Louis, the Maritime Center, and um, any other event down there at the rink, to use for roller skating, uh, for hockey, et cetera, any events at Brill Field. So uh, I'm more than confident because I've beaten this to death over the last couple of years that uh, I haven't missed anything down there and that um, if Louis comes back, uh, we should be all set. Thank you. Dave, with all due respect, this <clears throat> matter has gone back and forth. It's hard to keep track of, and I'll admit that. But the problem that you're talking about for the parking, there is a plan in place. The problem is, when is the plan going to be done? And what you're doing is that you're proposing to approve variances that will allow this to happen before the parking is even done. Parking will, be done, saying that there's going to be, parking will be done, Bill, in the springtime. In the springtime. It's going to take the Galligans, if uh, Louis, if they can do it. It's going to take them a few months to get going, and we're going to make sure we have that parking lot ready to take care of that phase of, I guess, the project down the entire neck. And as the houses go away and the Maritime Center starts to get placed, um, we're going to continue striping the lot. Louis or no Louis. If Louis doesn't make it, we're still going to stripe the lot. So it's still going to get redone. I'm hoping, like everybody on this call, that Louis comes back. I grew up down there. I know exactly what they're talking about with Louis. And we're going to do this parking lot in the springtime, regardless of Louis or no Louis. And Louis hopefully will be the first one to use the parking lot the correct way. So Maritime Dave, Center and Yacht Club, and then everybody's happy at the end of the night. So, Dave, are you guaranteeing that the lot will be done in the spring and it will not be impacted going forward by the remaining construction? Because we know the Maritime Center is going to take a couple of years to wrap up. 
that we're going to, I just said, Bill, we're going to stripe the parking lot in the springtime. Uh, no, I said something different, Dave. Are you saying that the, the parking will be done, it will be available, and it will not be impacted going forward by the work that we know is going to follow? No. If, if, if they do some work down at the Maritime Center, you might lose a few spots, but you're going to pick up 30 or 40, 50 spots right off the bat before we finalize the thing, Bill. If some of the spots are gone because they're going to construct the Maritime Center, there's still going to be plenty parking down here for Louis and for the trailers. There might not be as many for cars until we're all done. But like I said, seven months of the year, you hear crickets down the end of the neck. When the boats go in the water at the end of May till the end of September, it gets active. So we've got some time to do some planning in regards to maritime schedules and all that fun stuff. But that parking lot's going to be restriped regardless of Louis or no Louis in the springtime. And then we're going to move on. I guess that's all I, that's all I can okay. do. So again, my point is that you're approving this, the cart ahead of the horse, which was the parking lot, which is coming. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Mr. Zepp. Anyone else opposed to undecided? Second call? Third call? Susan Boyd. Susan Boyd. Hi, a quick question. Yep. Would you say you're going to strike the parking lot? Does that mean, um, is there any, does the city have any intention of putting up meters or residential permit parking? Like, what's the plan as far as that's concerned? Well, there'll be no meters. Um, <laughs> I, I know we're not going that far back. <laughs> I'd get thrown out of there real quick. Um, but, um, uh, Lieutenant Gillen and myself are going to talk, along with the mayor and the administration, about uh, enforcing rules down there in regards to dumping things. But um, there won't be any resident parking or anything like that in that lot. That'll be almost treated that when we get to the point as a municipal lot, like, you know, a, a regular municipal lot, you know, where you'll, you know, be able to park your car a reasonable amount of time. We put a lot of overflow goes over there, and sometimes people leave their cars there for more for 24 hours. Residents will do that. Is that still going to be allowed? No. We're no. going to start looking at some of the cars that are dumped in there, and we're going to have the residents that are dumping their cars in there. They're going to have to go on their property, wherever that is. Okay. One other question. Sometimes in the winter, it takes several days for the, the lot to be plowed as well. Will that be taken care of this winter, or should we count on that in the spring? Um, I don't know yet. I, you know, we'll try to probably get through the winter and like we usually do, I'm not exactly on the plow schedule of that lot. Um, I know that, um, if Louis opens up, I know it's going to take him a little time. So I don't know if they'll get going in the next couple of months, but, um, uh, we'll, we'll look at that, Susan, if we have to, we will. I mean, we're going to take it all over. So eventually, uh, you know, Quincy will be taking care of that whole lot. Uh, you know, maybe, uh, you know, I can get back to you on that, on, on, on plowing it, but if it needs Thank to get you. done, it's not that big of a deal. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. Is there anyone else? Opposed to undecided second call? Third call, call the party hearing close. And uh, I know what Bill's talking about and, and I get it, people, wondering what's going to happen, what's going to be this, what's going to be that. And, you know, at first I wasn't, I wasn't thrilled at all uh, about that because I put that in effect all in one. But as it went on, it was, it was going to lose a business. And, and, and really, it's the only place we have down here now. Everything else is gone. So uh, I hope they get that going very soon. So... Uh, I'll be voting in favor. Can I have a motion, please? Comments, Mr. Uh, Cabeas? No, I believe I have done. Uh, Mr. O'Brien? No, I think it's all set. Mr. Chin? We're going to be voting in favor. I have a motion, please. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, <clears throat> excuse me. In matter number 20-70, 1269, I'm sorry, 1269 C Street LLC <clears throat> for a variant to construct a two-family home on a vacant lot premises numbered 1266 
C Street. I make a motion to grant the variance. Second. Can we have a roll call, please, Madam Clerk? May. Okay. Marty Akins? Yes. Michael Cavayas? Yes. Charlie O'Brien? Yes. Russell Chen? Yes. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, board. Uh, Marty, can I ask Noreen one question? Sure. sure. Noreen, could you forward me on a copy of the uh, comments from the DPW, please? Yes. I never saw them. We'll take care of that. And uh, may I, Steve? We need, uh, we need uh, Hussan. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Madam Clerk. I'm sorry. Miss Curran from Elkhart Road is looking for Ms. Mr. Desroach's phone number. She's All right. trying to get you. All right. You can text it to Steve, right? Uh, is we got we got to go back and 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 Hassan, do you have a phone number? Are you up? Yes, I'm up and running now. Hey, he's up and running. He's up. Hey, I saw you calling a tech guy, huh? I saw him right here. Calling the tech, calling the kid. <laughs> okay. Uh, 194, Southern Ivory, you have the floor. Explain what you want to do with that. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, member of the board. You know, as I explained the last time, I was only asking if I could convert the space upstairs for a two bedroom and a bath, you know, uh, as an apartment. I would appreciate it very much. Thank What's you. the square footage up there? It's the same thing like the garage is 1250, 1250. 1250, okay. <clears throat> uh, so you're putting in exactly what's going up there. Yes, I have exactly what I have at, uh, at the garage is what I will be having upstairs. And the plumbing and the electrical, we are already up there from initially when I built the garage. Explain to us what exactly is going up there. Two bedrooms, a bath, what else? Two bedrooms, a bath, and a kitchen. That's it? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, I don't have any questions. Mr. I have no questions. No, I have no questions. No, no questions. Mr. Chin? No, no questions. Is there anyone that would like to speak in favor? Anyone who wants to speak in favor? Counselor? Like yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, for anybody to go to that effort to get the tech support, I'm going to have to support. I don't even know. I don't even care what he's doing, but he's got my support. No, it sounds like a good project, Hassan, and you're finally going to utilize some space that you haven't utilized at all. So good for you and uh, good luck. So MacArthur, thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, Is there anyone else want to speak in favor? John Rodefeld. John. Can you see me? Yeah, me yeah, and see, uh, see, see, see me you and Matt, Matt Rafter are both in favor of this. Hassan's a great guy. And Thank you, sir. Team. Thank you, John. Is that a cat or a dog? This is my cat, Rafter. Oh, wow. She's a big nice. dude. But looks like a commercial cat. It looks like that funny commercial cat. It is. It is. So, I mean, Rafter's in favor. She loves dent development. <laughs> Thank you, John. <laughs> is there anyone else who wants to speak in favor? Second call, third call. Call the pilot hearing closed. Madam Clerk, any correspondence? A letter from the DPW with no comment. Okay, no comment. Is there anyone opposed or undecided? First call, anyone? Second call. Third call, closed. I'll be voting in favor. Mr. Chairman, I will also be voting in favor. Me too. Uh, Mr. Schumann is an upstanding citizen and a, a very good businessman. I uh, am very much in favor. Could we have a motion, please, Mr. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman number 20-66, Bolshuri LLC for a special permit finding to convert an existing second floor space to a residential unit on the premises number 949 Southern Artery. I make a motion to grant the special permit and the fine. Second. On the motion, 
Ma'am, can we have a roll call, please? Yes. Martin Akins? Yes. Mike Coveas? Yes. Charlie O'Brien? Yes. Russell Chin? Yes. Thank you. Can I have a motion to adjourn, please? <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, I make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you very much, everybody. <laughs>